pressure and match up with the mid lane uh, with the mid lane supports who are generally going to be shoving it out or at the very least using their kill pressure to threaten AJ. So if AJ goes 50-50 in the lane, he's going to be useful, but Atlas is a very big weak point. If he gets into the later stages of the game, big wombo combo, Suha's esports have got it in the bag, but if you look at the composition coming out of MAB, generally it's about pickoffs, it's about stopping the ultimates, it's about looking for those counter engagements, which is hard because they've got so much on the side, so many tools from Suha's, the Unyielding Fury going to be number one on top of the real war manipulation. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, we're heading into his game number Five one seconds. between MAB Esports versus Suha's Esports. Game number one here, seeing how MAB Esports opening up with a well very, very Lola risky Legend. and high technical draft of both DeFranco and also Selena to have a very, uh, very, very cliche condition to win their fight. So this is going to be an interesting one. Whether or not can they pull off this difficulty? Well, it's time. MAB Esports on the blue side with Suha's Esports on the red. I'm excited to see, especially for MAB, because as you mentioned before, this is a high technical draft. It's all about execution. It's all about getting the results, right? If they cannot mechanically perform the abilities to pressure Suha's Esports, this game is going to crumble very quickly. Exactly. And seeing how things is going here, interesting fact that uh, both Box as well as Zuto are going to be going for oh, the Demon oh. Stay. However, oh, bottom trade. side, okay, they God. trade a one-for-one one between Ren as well as Eevee. That's actually a good sign for MAB Esports. Yep, this is really worth it, especially for Ren, because he is going for Festival of Blood. So as long as he's able to stack that up early, he's going to have some extra sustain against someone with natural sustain in the arena. So that's first blood bounty achieved so far. It's looking good. 45 more seconds until Turtle comes up. And this is what you want to see from MAB Esports, right? Controlling that mid lane as much as he can. Nova just needs to slow down the uh, box and more importantly, try to punish the ace. Oh, box. He's immediately going to get Iron Hulk here but they don't get the reset on that purple buff. Now Nova is in some trouble, but here comes Zuto to try and punish the ace, looking for any kind of quick executions. Oh, and Blade and Tempest is already oh, coming out. He... There we go, perfect play. Orange buff is gonna burn him down. Well done coming from Zuto, MAB Esports. Things looked a little bit iffy there, considering uh, the, how out of position the tank as well as uh, Nova was, in, uh, sorry, Nova as well as uh, Zach QT was. But fortunately for them, the Zuto was there to salvage the fight. So that was a big W coming from MAB Esports, considering that they do slow down this momentum that Suas Esports is trying to garner. And unfortunately to say, now Turtle is still going to be a, a force now coming from Box. They pop out the Unyielding Fury, and MAB this is waiting patiently for the right moment inside. Do they take it? Unfortunately, no. No, Zuto still didn't have his retribution in time. If they wanted to coin flip it, Zuto would have started making his way, but he didn't have that purple buff as well. So I think giving it over to Suha's esports, sure, it should have been it should have been expected for the side of MAB esports, but at the end of the day, they didn't want to risk it, which I think is a much better decision because now they're looking a little bit further ahead, saying orange buff, let's shove box away. Exactly. Now they are gonna try and force this issue as well. Here comes the real nation. They're going for the hook as well, but it seems like it is a bait to pull it away from AJ as they focus on towards the ace as MAB. Esports gets a very easy kill as well as the reset on the orange buff to slow down Box's farm. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's all about punishing the supports very early on into the game. And if you can bleed your lead in towards the jungle and slow Box down, that's a very big win for MAB Esports. So keep your eyes on the ace because that's where MAB Esports is going to look to try and punish as collateral for oh, the jungle. Wow, what a steal coming from Zuto as well. MAB was just lurking there, making sure they want to waste Box's time. And Box didn't even get the Orange Bob, they sacrificed Bo uh, Nova for that vicinity, but the one that needed the kill was none other than Box. However, here comes the retaliation coming from Zach QT. Nothing crazy, but it will force Suha to play very defensively because of this play. MAB needs to have some foresight here, right? They're making these really good plays. Like, whenever they predict, okay, he's going to be on Orange Bob's side, that's where we're going to punish. There isn't... Oh, Zed, he's almost got that kill onto Egg Slash. And it's great that he uh -oh. didn't die there, but here comes Nova to try and make that difference. Maximum impact from Egg Slash? Yeah, that's, that's dead. There's no way he survives that. Okay. Zed is pretty much a dead deal as well. They walk out. They know that he's going to be down as well. MAB has well, got this in the bag. Rotation-wise, on point. However, Box has not been killed yet. He's been slow uh -oh, uh, slowed down in terms of farm. Ren, however, is going to try and make a run for it. He does have the tower protection, so that's not going to be the dive coming in, but we do see the arrows coming from the middle side, so Suas Esports is a little bit spooked out as they back out. Yep, five more seconds, four more seconds, in fact, for the turtle will come out, and the ace actually using his ultimate on the wave. That's not going to be good for Suhas. Do they have any outs? AJ's got his all, Box has his all. Okay, they can still coin flip this if they want to. 
Yeah, definitely. But seems like MAB Esports this time, they are going to secure the turtle very easily. The coin X slash 4, a quick one. And Suas Esports is in the vicinity. However, no retro available. AG shows himself. Zuto makes a dive. He goes for the Tempest Blade. However, he's a little bit out of position as he spots out four members coming from Suas Esports. Will let them retreat. However, they are going to look to chip the gold plating up top with the Kimi. With 105 more seconds, you can see MAB, this is the siege that they want to do. They want to try and punish Zed or De Ace, but a large majority of the members of Suha's Esports going to defend it. And you can tell MAB don't want to commit too many resources to this, but the longer the box stays around, the better it is for MAB. Five more seconds, four more seconds, in fact, for his purple buff. He needs to make sure that his farm is consistent. You, you could see from the play up top from MAB Esports, they are so disciplined. You know how difficult it is to land those hooks as well as the arrow. As soon as they miss it, they didn't get anything out of it. Immediately, Discipline plays, they back out. However, Nova has been lurking around. He, he will find a pickup on towards the ace. It is only a tank, but it does hurt Suhas that much yet. This is what I was talking about in the draft. The ace is just a big point that MAB can continue to punish until the later stages of the game. So, as of right now, Suhas Esports, they don't mind dragging this game out as long long as possible. MAB just does not scale as well. So it's up to MAB to continuously put the pressure and apply pressure on Suha's esports to try to make them crack. Yeah, slowly but surely, the point of interest is going to be taking down Box. Like, they've got a kill onto Zed, but somehow they need to further slow down Box's farm. And currently, Box has not died a single time. He's got slowed down, but eventually they need at, le at least one death of box if they want to try and have a better game however so as esports looks like they will scout out zuto zuto with the link into the back out the arrow does connect looks like they are going to make the dive onto the ace again and that's a big pickoff but box will be forced to use the unyielding fury potentially soon to actually clear up the minions he's holding it for a long time but looks like mab they don't want to continue yep they don't have to at this point of time when the turtle is coming back up they're prioritizing these neutral objectives they've given too many over one too many over to Suha's Esports. EV, he is making some good rotations, but more importantly, he is Uranus, so he's never going to die. He's got Purify and Concentration, but new, now seeing the solo kill onto X Slash on that top side, well played to Zed. That is huge coming from Suha's Esports. That, that was a very, very important kill for them, as they are going to be trading top tier one for the turtle uh, in the hands of MAB Esports. So Suha's Esports is looking to open up the map a little bit more to help Box farm efficiently. Meanwhile, bottom side, EV doing a fantastic job just no. gaining so much zone control over MAB Esports. No, they're wasting too much time down here. They mm -hmm. could have easily gone towards purple buff side, but instead Suha's Esports try to punish the mid lane. X Slash manages to make it in time, knowing he can catch that next second top wave. So I think at the end of the day, it's about, you know, understanding what is priority for yep. each of these members. And I feel like, unfortunately for MAB, they are wasting a little bit of time mm -hmm. uh, and opportunities and windows to actually steal gold away from Suha's. You know, Suha's just has the bigger picture in mind. You know, play the macro game as smart as they can. If they are coming, we just need to buy time. And look at this, that also making so much space for the team. And this is actually helping Suas Esports. MAB Esports, they're, st they're slowly starving, even though they've got a little bit of a lead. But based on their drafts here, as the game progresses, this is not helping them at all. Well, I mean, honestly, when you're seeing the Ace die up topside, Zed and AJ is going to try and do their best, but it's expected that the Ace goes down here. The fact is... Oh, they, arrow. Oh, no, it's not going to get a kill. Suha's Esports are allowed to play passes, so even if they make general mistakes, they know they have a guaranteed like 12, 13 minutes into this game. Mm -hmm. As long as Box doesn't die. However, looks like uh, MAB, they're not too happy about this. They got the kill onto the Ace again, and they're looking to transition from the middle turret. However, a little bit too hard to do it as uh, Zed is going to be here to clear the minions very quickly. Yeah, I think MAB Esports at this point, the clock is ticking against them. They've got about what? I would say about six minutes less than that. Yeah. Five minutes until Suha's Esports are ready to fight. Box two levels away from level 12. The first Lord is coming up in about 16 seconds. And now you see MAB increasing the tempo. Oh, he almost got AJ as well as that QD. Oh. Going to be forced as well. But Zuto is going to try and salvage the situation. Does he have one more HP? No, Zuto does not have the orange buff. He could not burn him down in time. However, they will settle with the ace once again. And MAB Esports is looking to secure the Lord. Zach QD is going to try and fight this fight as well. As Eve trying to make space, but the Damage burst coming in from Axe Slash a little bit too much, and Ren will secure the kill with the with that and MAB Esports, they win the, the kills, but they're not transitioning into Lord immediately. This is a little unfortunate. I really thought Zuto could almost guarantee the kill onto AJ, but I think he understood he didn't have the purple buff at the time. He wouldn't have enough energy regeneration to kill AJ and then jump back out. He still had his ultimate, which begs the question, right? Zuto, could he have gotten both of those kills? Because they almost guaranteed that Kedeth onto the ace. 
I'm not so sure. The micro is a little tough to predetermine it. I guess. You know, in this case, I like how that he's not taking unnecessary risk, considering that they have a little bit of advantage as of yet. But now, the A's, they are going to make the play. They pull in Zach UT, and that is huge. They set up for the Redners, and they take him apart. And this might be crumbling here. But looks like MAB Sports, they are going to send Zuto to lurk around and potentially go in for a split push. However, Uranus is going to be sent up top. Lord is going to be contest here. 4v4 down bottom without the Uranus. Are they going to force the issue? MAB, a little bit scared as of yet. They just have to drag out this fight. Suha's esports don't have to do anything. They are waiting for their ultimates to come back up to look for that big wombo combo. And I don't think MAB realized this. They're dragging out the Lord to make sure that they're full five-man squad before fighting once again. And once they have Zach QT in position, he can start opening up the map, especially when it comes down to these mid rushes. Yep, speaking of which, AJ and the Ace is going to have their ultimates up very, very quickly. And this time, they are going to try and bait the Lord again as MAB Esports just wasting a little bit too much time uh, trying to find an opportunity in this situation, which is actually very beneficial for Suha's Esports. And you can see Box slowly chunking away. They are going to force the issue. Ren is going to open up the mat. Zuto is going to be here, but he doesn't have his purple buff, so he needs to be very careful. But Suha's Esports taking a little bit too much damage. He is, goes for the Wombo Combo. He catches three of them, and Zed completely obliterates M. AB Esports, he loses his life, but Suha's Esports gets a big fat tree, man. The next slash is gonna be the next to fall. And maybe Esports, they secured a lot, but they've lost all their members. That's a maniac coming in for Box. He's playing this well. He understands the micros, and unfortunately for MAB, they fell right into Suha's Esports' trap. They don't care about the Lord. They want MAB Esports to get nice and close and toasty before close. the oh. full combo. He, there's no way he does. Yeah, no, he's, he's fine, right? He's, yeah, he's, yeah fine. he's fine. He's totally fine. Evey, 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 Evey. Oh! A little bit close, a little bit close. Okay, a little too close for comfort. Okay, he gets punished for it. So, it, does he super? Nah, it's, there's no way he no, survives. No. It's gone. Great bait, though, but still, damn. I, I think it's just one of those situations where it's like, ah, oh, you know, EV dies. That, uh, it's kind of whatever. Suha still have plenty of time to kind of scale it towards this game. Uh, Box, he probably doesn't have max items just yet, but he's the only one really getting a large amount of gold. Zed, naturally, his kit has a lot of damage, so with one item alone, he's able to shred. If he gets a Malefic Roar, that's just a plus point. Exactly. However, with that play coming from Suha, he's what they finally gain back a little bit of momentum, but MAB Esports is not looking to let him slide here as well. So Uto is going to try and challenge Box, but it's a little bit too low. But Arrow comes into the ace to actually stop him from using the Fatal Link. And that's going to be a full back off coming from MBB Esports. But the middle turret, once again, Suha's Esports putting very, very big emphasis on making sure that the turret does not fall. I think this is one of those slow burners here for MAB Esports. The only way they win this is if they can bait spells out of Suha's. Mm -hmm. And if Suha's are, you know, a little trigger happy with their ultimates, it's going to be so good for MAB to look for the re-engage. Oh. Uh, here comes the pull. Nova Explorer gets pulled back. Here comes the real Blue as well. Zach is looking to try to fight a fight, but the crits and the damage coming from Zed is a little bit too much. As Zoot Nova as well as Zach Uti gets bursted out. Zuto nowhere to be found at all in that fight. Yep, Zuto, he jumps right in, he sees Zed, he wants it. he's going into the Blade of the Tempest to try and jump on him. He finds that kill to Ace and AJ, now hit very, very low. Maximum impact not up from X Slash, he used it to open up the map. That's a little sad. 3v3 and MAB Esports, they know their win conditions, but it's just really hard to achieve. So close, yet so far, very, very nail-biting kills coming from MAB Esports. However, Suas, they still prevail. They are buying a lot of time. Now, let's take a look, quick look on the itemization real quick. Box is almost close to his final items, and he's slowly starting to hurt. But the hook coming from MAB Esports, this is huge. They punish the ace again, but Zuto, he's looking to apply the pressure. Can he get the kill on AG? No, he cannot, but his life is a little bit low. One fat crit coming from Box might be enough to take him down and scare him off, but looks like it's not going to happen as Suas is going to play this slow once again. Yes, yeah, Suhas needs to remember that even though the wave clear is really, really strong. They need to play for these bigger objectives, which is going to be Lord. So now they're taking a more passive approach until Lord is back up, and this is the perfect time to try and punish MAB. Mm -hmm. Nova gonna be bullied out of the fight. EVE is gonna force it as well, but he pulls him back to the turret, but he doesn't have the fight. However, they are gonna die from the box again. Zuto goes in for the play. The Kimi does have the damage, take him out, and that is huge coming from MAB Esports. They need a box down, and this is gonna be them securing the Lord. But Suazi is what? They still have the render on Zed. They, are they gonna force the issue? Evey is going to be here to open up the map, but MAB, they're conceding the fight again. 
Yep, they're technically, their members are a little low here, and especially from the back line. Nova wants the flicker on top of Zed specifically. Box is already down, and yeah, they should be able to coin flip this, no problem, but they can't afford to fall into the Aces combo. They still have AJ and Zed ready to go into Beerus Passion and the real world manipulation, which is more than enough damage. Yep, they have a lot of time as well. Here comes the snipe coming for Zed. Does he connect? Nope. Looks like he will back up. However, no X Mobar will throw his life for his the cause as they secure the Lord. Meanwhile, Ave consistently clear Clearing out the middle lanes to make sure that the middle tower is jeopardized. But with that play, MAB Esports, they finally gain back the momentum, which they, they lost a little bit in the hands of Suhas. Yep, and you can tell that Suhas are playing a more passive game, uh, more passive game, especially since, yes, they could have pulled that combo off 4v5, but notice that MAB Esports still have a majority of their flickers. So for Ace to make that catch, he has to time it really, really well and would rather not play the 50-50. Yep, and as of yet, Ren is also going to be hitting his 15 soon. And this Khalid is starting to get a little bit annoying. And one big fat out is going to completely shred Zed to pieces. And he just needs to wait for the right moment. Meanwhile, the Ling is going to consistently split push as well. But here comes the bite. They finally take out the Uranus. And a, a very, very annoying hit player coming from Suas Esports. And this is going to give them a little bit more room. But so far, everyone from Suas, they're just playing very defensively because of this. Yep, you can see MAB continuing to press their advantage. As long as they keep getting pick after pick after pick, Never. it's going to work out well. It's all dependent on Selena as well as Nova. Iron Hook does not connect on anybody just yet. But you can see that Suhas are playing it very carefully. They're looking for opportunities for MAB to kind of group up together. And despite that 5k gold lead, Suhas very comfortable in their own skin right now. Yep, and uh, this is, this is going to be a very, very difficult defense coming in. Uh, from Skuhas now, considering that one nice hook or one nice arrow could smell defeat in their hands in this situation. So they just need one good fight and Skuhas will bounce back. However, MAB, fantastic position. Arrow comes in, but it's only a tank. Once again, it's only a tank. It's only the ace. Yeah, I think they need somebody uh, who's able to kind of protect themselves. I think Eevee at this point should consider getting an Ice Queen's Wand and purposefully getting hooked by Nova. If he purposefully gets hooked, it might spark an initial engage from MAB Esports, but the retaliation from Suha's Esports is going to be more than enough, and Eevee can protect his life with Purify, Consecration, as well as a Winter Truncheon. He can buy more than enough time through all the chain CCs that MAB Esports has. Yep, currently AJ from side Suha's Esports, he's got the Ice Queen's Wand, he's got the Glowing Wand. He is is a big threat when it comes to mobility against MAB Esports. However, that's the thing. I like how AJ is extremely smart in his positioning. He's always aware that whether or not ZQT's arrow has been expended before he decides to pop his real world manipulation. And that's a very, very underrated uh, decision, but hopefully he, he can maintain it up or, or it doesn't cause problems for the team. Yeah, let's see how long it's going to take here. With 20 seconds on the clock, Lord is about to spawn, and now Suha's esports. This is an ideal condition for them to actually take this fight onto MAB, who only have one extra situational item on Suha's at this stage of the game, mm. which personally I don't think is going to matter too much because the combo is just that devastating, despite the immortalities you're expected to see from MAB esports. Yep, this next Lord fight is going to dictate and help out Suha's esports. They need to win this one. However, here comes the bike again. They punish Eve, and this is huge for them, but it looks like they won't force the issue the ace pulls them back immediately mab esports says i don't care they force out the render and this is not looking good for suas esports they catch box red sustaining through all the cut kill of the Khalid as they give chase and everyone from suas esports is taking a little bit too much damage zuto gonna get chopped away as the wind of nature from zed will save his life but the arrow from zack ut connects the dot the ace is down and zack ut escapes the wrath of suas esports oh no nibiru's passion it just came up he was not able to protect or even look for a trade kill this is perfect for MAB Esports. They catch off Eevee, who cannot get past the suppression from Nova X Kobar, and just the raw damage coming in, and consistent DPS from X Slash on this Kimmy is making it absolutely impossible for Eevee to actually get the Consecration, or even the Purify off in time. Yeah, that is huge coming from MA, uh, from MAB Esports. Like, Eevee is doing a fantastic job just making sure the lanes are always shoved up. Taking it out means they are taking out a big portion of uh, meet you away from Suas Esports. And because of this, they are in a very difficult spot. Here comes the Lord. 
Now they're gonna look for this last potential fight and yield. Oh, the hook! The hook already landing on a perfect target, taking EV out again. Zuto cracking open the bottom inhibitor so far as Box absorbs and dies straight to Zuto's increase 100% crit and max energy. Even Zed will not be able to dish out this damage. MAB looking to close out this game with a raging sandstorm to end to Ace's life, popping his immortality. Zed now at risk as the inhibitor falls. MAB take game one. Oh, what a game coming in from M. MAB Esports bring it on and wow to my surprise they pulled out a very very difficult composition against two hearts esports in game number one and made it look so seamlessly but looks like it is going to be back to the drawing board for two hearts esports for game number two but MAB with Zuto's first appearance